personality. We all have one, but after this video, you're going to have a better one. Our personality is our typical pattern of thinking, feeling, acting, and communicating. So the key term there is typical. Your typical pattern of acting, feeling, thinking, and communicating, all right? It's what you do consistently, not just like with one person or with one group of people, uh-uh, across the board as a whole. All right, so now what I want you to do is think of somebody who you can consider to have a great magnetic personality. Got them? Yeah, it's pretty easy to do. Most of us can. All right, these people are just radiating with personality, right? We feel better being around them. But now if I ask you to tell me why, what about their personality specifically makes them have a good personality? It's tougher to do, right? Because there's so many factors and variables that go into making up somebody's individual personality. The good news is that we at Alpha M have done the legwork and figured out what makes a good personality tick. <laughs> Actually, we kind of did. So here's the deal. We can break down a good personality into traits. And if we work on developing these traits for ourselves, we in the long run are going to have a better personality. And who doesn't want that? Exactly. We all do. Let's rock. Tip number one is be a better listener. Work on your active listening skills, all right? Because communication is a skill. Listening is also a skill, all right? When you listen to somebody, it's not just your ears, right? You're just hearing the words come out. Your whole body body should be listening, which means put your phone away, eye contact, nod, engage them. This is what I'm talking about in terms of being an active listener. And who doesn't like talking to somebody or being around somebody that when you're talking to them, you think, oh my God, they're actually listening. Tip number two is become more interesting. Yeah, you can actually become more interesting. How do you do that? By engaging and actively seeking out education, information, trying new things. The more stuff you you try, the more stuff you do, the more information you seek and absorb, the more interesting you're going to be for other people to communicate with. Tip number three is practice and adopt a more optimistic outlook on life. Optimism is sort of that glass is half full type of thing, right? Nobody, and I mean nobody, likes being around somebody who's pessimistic, always talking about the negative, never looking at the good in anything, right? Well, this is something that you can absolutely change. If you are persistently and consistently talking about negative things, acknowledge that you're doing it and then work on developing a more positive outlook, all right? Sometimes simply looking at things a little bit differently can make all the difference in the world. Tip number four, be encouraging and supportive to others. Good job. You can do it. Oh, good luck. I'm telling you, people that are supportive to me or people that I interact with that are encouraging, you think I like them? Yeah, I love them because I want to be around these people. They're people that are raising you up through positive energy. These people, fantastic personalities a lot of times. Tip number five is have integrity and treat people with respect. Leading us to tip number six, which is don't talk bad about people, don't make fun of them, and don't gossip. People that make fun of other people are mean. Gossipers? They just suck. Tip number seven is don't be afraid to be yourself. So often we get caught in this cycle of trying to please everybody, being something different in different social circles. Um, when you stop doing that and just decide that, you know what, this is me, take it or leave it, you're going to lose some friends. Some people aren't going to like you, but it's okay. The ones that are still there, they're going to be solid. They're going to be your friends and you're going to find new ones. And these relationships and interactions are going to be far superior to the ones that you were putting up a facade in order to facilitate. Tip number eight is have the ability to laugh at yourself. Now this is easier said than done and until you actually have a secure sense of self and feel good about who you are and comfortable in your own skin, you're probably not going to be able to do that. I did a video talking about the importance of being able to laugh at yourself and if you missed it, I would say absolutely go check it out after this video. It's, it's, it's something that I feel people with good personalities, this is something they all pretty much have in common. There's a link down below. And as with pretty much everything that we talk about, it boils down to tip number nine, which is do things that you need to do every day to facilitate and develop your confidence. When you feel good about who you are, the person you see looking back at yourself in the mirror, knowing that, hey, I am a good person. I bring value to the world and people around me. Let me tell you something. Your personality is going to skyrocket. It's going to emanate. It's going to be like a, a death 
laser beam just going out because you're going to be like, yo, I feel great about myself. And that is going to transition and transcend every aspect of your life, including your personality. And if you need a confidence kick in the ass, there's actually a link down below to the Alpha M Confidence course where I am going to personally help you unlock the five phases of self-confidence. Gentlemen, unfortunately, we weren't all born with dynamic, radiant, amazing, engaging personality. Some of us, it just wasn't in the cards. We're shy. Or for whatever reason, we just don't let it shine when we're around people. The good news is that if you implement and embrace and adopt these nine tips into your daily life, your daily interactions, you are well on your way to personality perfection. 